Hi guys, it's Mary. It is Saturday night and there are no thunderstorms in the area, so we are going to have us a video tutorial that I do hope you will enjoy. So give me one second. Let me be sure that uh, we're transmittalating over here off the offside, which means I'm just going to refresh my screen and be sure I see myself, not myself, but my hands and my stuff. I hope y'all are having a great week. There it is. It looks like we're on. We've got a couple of folks on with us, so that is good. I'm glad to see folks. We'll uh, give everybody a minute to kind of get in. There we go. Now they're starting to join up. I've been watching the weather, making sure that it wasn't going to get bad. I ordered good weather, and so far we've been good. Hey, Nancy. Thank you for joining. I appreciate you. Hi, Kathy. Kathy Fennell. How are you? Good to talk to you. I'll bet you have got some serious snow. I'm just thinking. I saw a report the other day that said just west of Reno, and I thought, I know somebody who lives right there. Hey, Amy. Glad your phone worked. Hi, Linda. Hi, everybody. Hi, Marianne. Hi, Diane. Appreciate you tonight joining me. Barbara, Patricia. Hello, people. For any of you who are joining from down under, I hope that the Facebook reports of rain in Australia have been accurate and not just Facebook BS. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Faith. Hello, Jean. Glad you made it. And Bill and Sharon and Jan. Appreciate you. Hi, Karma. Hi, Holly. All right. We are going to get started. Um, this, if you couldn't figure it out from the sneak peek, what we are making today is a little tote. And here's my theory. It's a tote because I pushed the little ends out. And I think if I had pushed the little ends in, one would call it a purse. So that would be a purse. This would be a tote. So I'm saying that I've made myself a tote. Okay, <laughs> there you go. Made myself a tote. All right, so I made that using the ever so wonderful all dressed up dies. And you can see there are a ton of dies here. There are 15 dies in this set. I'll tell you right now, you've got to cut two of the big one to make a tur a, tur a terse. There it is, I'm gonna call it a terse, a tote purse, all right? And then you've got a die for some straps. Um, you've got a couple of flowers. This one makes the cute little pocket on the front. Um, you got some buttons, big buttons and little buttons. You can see the little button right there. Hi, Carol. Hey, Barbara. Um, and it makes some buckles. I did not make buckles this time. I think it would look good on like, you know, a coach purse to have buckles. And you can cut out a perfume bottle and a lipstick and a cute dye and of course some shoes. So I decided that what I would make today with this group is, let me get that out of the way, is a little uh, Mother's Day gift. All right, so I decorated the front and I gave it a Mother's Day sentiment and this little dude will hold three by three note cards and envelopes and it will actually hold six sets. All right, so I have already made um, six or three of each, and we're going to make three more tonight. Um, and I'm gonna show you what you can do. I have got some of the best dressed three by three uh, note cards and envelopes. Hi, Tish. Thanks for joining everything, joining the group. Tish is one of our newest members, so that is very, very cool. And uh, Tish joined with the uh, Jean. Right? Yeah, with Jean. All right, so you can use these adorable little note cards and envelopes. I love the envelopes in particular because they've all got a liner in um, Purple Posy, Daffodil Delight, and Petal Pink, and these wonderful scrolled little flaps. Now, you could, in theory, you could actually do nothing to these envelopes and they would be perfect, but you know that's not how I roll. So I actually made a little decoration uh, and I just got faded because I left my envelopes over by my photo booth. Hi, Sandra from Freezing, Maine. Hi, Mary. Hey, Pam. Uh, what I did, and this is totally, I totally stole the idea from this, the catalog. I cut another little gold button 
and I adhered it with liquid glue to the flap and put a little tiny bow with the um, the 1 8 inch mint macaron sheer linen ribbon. Okay, so I made a lot of bows, and you'll be glad to know I've made the bows ahead of time because, you know, nobody wants to watch Mary make bows on camera because it'll take her forever. But what I wanted you to know is if you happen to run out of the best dress note cards, you can actually just create them by cutting a three inch by six inch piece of Whisper White cardstock and scoring it and folding it in the middle. And so we'll probably make one like that today because if you look here, this card that I've already made is exactly that. So you can see you've got two that were from the best dress set and one that is a three by six note card. And they it goes all just fine together. So. If you run out of the note cards or if you do not have a set, you can use three by three envelopes that we can you can buy as three by three envelopes and then just make your own three by three note cards. Okay, so let's go ahead and set this stuffage aside. Hi Debbie from Balmy, Florida. What does that mean? Does it mean it's like 102 or does it mean it is 60? I don't know what that means. We're gonna set these aside. And hopefully, when I forget where they are, just remind me that I set them aside and that I should not panic. And then let's pull out. I've got a whole bunch of stuff already cut out so that you don't have to just watch me and watch me and watch me. Okay, like I said, I have some little buttons. And there's two sizes in the set. There's large and small. And the small, to me, is a better fit for what we're doing. And then from some of the Best Dressed uh, DSP, I cut two of the large dies and I for this one that we're making now my sample is a different uh, DSP and then I used old olive for the straps and the pocket but for this one we are going to use mossy meadow I've got two straps and I have a little pocket and I, I stamped the lipstick in, with Tuxedo Black Memento Ink on a piece of mint macaron and cut it with its dye. So there's that. Um, I stamped the perfume bottle in Tuxedo Black and, stamp, and cut it out with its dye. This sentiment is from the Dress to Impress stamp set. And I've, I've, uh, this is in lovely lipstick. All of my sentiments are in lovely lipstick. So here's the thing to remember. If you're making a, a set of note cards, the sentiments don't all have to be the same. They don't have to be for the same reason. I have some, I've got some that are happy birthday. I have one that's a congratulations card. And then I have one that's a thank you card. But what brings them all together is the fact that my color palette stayed the same all the way through. I used lovely lipstick for every sentiment and then I used Daffodil Delight, Petal Pink, and Purple Posy throughout the rest of the set. So even though they're not all the same sentiments or the same usage, uh, they all go together and it's very obvious that they go together. But wouldn't this be a lovely little set if you had two of each of these to, uh, to give to your favorite mother person uh, for Mother's Day? A birthday card, a congratulations card, and a thank you card, and uh, two of each so she can do what she likes with it. I think it would be a very sweet little gift. Okay, any hooch. Uh, I then I have two of the flowers. There are two different flowers and they each have their own dye. I stamped them in um, tuxedo black. And then I used my petal pink blends combo and my purple posy blends combo to color them. Um, one of the DSPs, this one, you can see it has a bunch of perfume bottles. And I can tell you that this one that you stamp and die cut, you can see it are, is dramatically bigger. And I can assure you, it really doesn't fit all that well into the pocket. So if you wanna put a perfume bottle, get your fussy cutting chops on, okay? And there's several to choose from, but I chose the one that said perfume just so that nobody would have any doubts. And then I stamped a shoe in lovely lipstick and I'm gonna color that in just a second. I've got a best dress tassel in petal pink, and I've got a bunch of the bows that I told you about that I, I pre-made. So let's go ahead and put this together. Let's put it together. You are my favorite mother. <laughs> okay, so when you cut this, 
um, there are two kinds of scores that happen. One, uh, I'm not even sure that you can see. In fact, I'm certain that you can't. There are stitched score lines, and then there are um, straight solid score lines. The straight solid score lines are where you fold. Don't fold the stitches. Those are decorative, okay? So you can see there's a stitch, a straight, and a stitch, and I fold it in the middle, okay? And you want to go ahead and just get them all folded. And there's one here to make a little flap. And there's one here to make another little flap. Let's be sure I got them. And I'm folding these out. Okay. All right, that's all of those. And we'll do the other side. Hey, Karen, glad you could join. Now, Amy, I would really like you to have one of these little sets. So why don't you just go ahead and watch my video and then you can make it for yourself and then put it in a little gift bag and write with all my love Mary on it and then it'll sort of be from me but not really you know what I'm saying sort of be from me but not really okay there we go all right so you can see how this all fits together you've got um, a flap and a flap and so these are going to fit like so and then we'll go on the other side so let's just go ahead and do that now I like tear and tape for these kinds of things just because um, it's really probably the best adherence if you feel a little less sure of yourself um, I'm really just hanging it out there because you know what the heck you could use liquid glue but you are gonna have to hold it a second until it all um, gets adhered. When you put your tear and tape on, what I want you to do is I want you to put it as close to the actual fold of the score as you can. Um, it's really going to be kind of six and one half dozen the other because the tear and tape is just about the same width as that flap, but you know, still and all. Still and all. That's what you want to do. Okay? Okay. So right, so right. And we'll do the other side as well, the other piece. These are really fun and easy peasy to put together. I'm just saying. Hey, Lenny. Hey, Rosalie. I am not so ingenious. This, this is pretty easy stuff. Okay, so we're gonna cut that, or not cut that, that's not cut, it's untape, uncover. And what I wanna do here is take the not flap side of the other piece and you want to line the top up with the top of the flap, okay? Just like that. And then you wanna put this edge against the fold. So this right here is probably the only hard piece, and you want this fold here to match up with this flap down here, okay? So it's a, a bunch of lining up, and that's why I said if you prefer to use liquid glue, of course you can, but I am just going to wag it and hope for the best. Hope is not really a plan. It's not really a valid plan, but it's the one I'm going to take. If you have to cheat it, here's the tip. If you have to cheat it, cheat it at the top, by which I mean you really want these bottom folds to line up. Okay, so if it's going to not line up somewhere, it wants to not line up at the top. But if you're if you take your time, it will line up in both places okay just like that and then we're just going to do the other side I tried making this purse tote thingy with cardstock or is it best with dsp um i haven't tried it with cardstock but there is a sample in the catalog if you look um it's actually it looks like an olive green purse and it looks like they cut it with olive green card cardstock and then they embossed it in the tufted embossing folder which I think would be pretty cool because then it would look like a quilted tote right okay now I may have to stop talking so that I can get this all lined up I'll we'll try to keep it under the camera so that you can see what I'm doing 
And really all I'm making sure of is that I line everything up. But you can see that, for me, that was why tear and tape is better than the liquid glue for this. Because once I got it put where I wanted it, it, it just stayed. Okay? And then all you have to do is put the bottom together. And I did that with just a single piece of tear and tape. So I'm going to put a piece of tear and tape on this edge. And then it will be so done. It will be so done. And you want to put your tear and tape on the inside flap right at the edge, okay? Because you really want it to stay right closed. Now, unlike my boxes where I was really, really concerned, I was holding my mouth just right, where I was really concerned about the bottom being stout in case I put something heavy like lotion or something like that. This really isn't, you're not gonna like carry this around, okay? I mean, you know, really. So if the bottom is not like 3,000 times reinforced, I don't think that's a problem. If that worries you, use more than one piece of tear and tape. But it doesn't worry me, so, you know, I'm going, I'm hanging it out there, just putting it out on the limb. And just kind of straighten everything up I've pulled the tape cover off, and then we're gonna put it down like that. And boom, chakalaka, tote, purse. So whichever one you prefer, that's what you can make. Aw, so pretty. But I can tell you, it does hold the little note cards a lot better as a tote. As makes sense, I mean, really. Totes are much more useful. Okay, so now I'm going to take my Mossy Meadow. Let me just check my watch and be sure I'm not just rambling on. I was planning to carry my gift around, so make it sturdy. Okay, I will. I'll, let me, uh, <clears throat> on the next one, the one I'm going to send you, I can't send you the one you see because then it's not a surprise, but on the next one, um, I will make sure I use about 27 pieces of tear and tape, okay? All right. So for my straps, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give them a little pre-tensioning, make them a little curvy, okay, like that. And I'm going to put a little piece of tear and tape adhesive on the ends. Now here is the only trick you need to know, is on each end, you want to put the tear and tape on the same side. So you can go ahead and do a pre-fit if you like so that you can see how it's gonna go. You're gonna give it a twist as you put it on, okay? So put the tear and tape on the same side of the strip on either end and then, then you can't mess that up, I promise. And just put a little piece like maybe a quarter inch on each end. And my hands and my brain and my cardstock just went crazy. Okay, and then we'll do the other one as well so it's ready. Oh, goodness gracious sakes alive. Okay, there we go. Well, I bought my, I think two weeks ago, I said I was holding out for a growing system, and I bought it. If you are going to carry it around, stamp with Amy K. Won't you need one in every color? Oh, yes, she is a fashionista. Mm -hmm. There's nothing not fashionista about her. In fact, I was thinking of her when I was stamping the high heels because she walks around in them all the time. You should have seen her on the cruise. She looked a little goofy. She was trying to tour <laughs> Greece in heels. I said, Amy, 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 that is just silly. That is just silly. Okay, so now I've pulled the covers off, and I'm just going to, what I'm doing is, there's a stitch line right there across the front, and so I'm just lining the bottom of my strap with the stitch line on both ends, and then I'm going to twist it around and do the same over here. And is that really necessary? Depends on how, you know, OCD you are about it. If you're OCD, it's necessary. If it's gonna bother you if you don't do it, then do it. That's what I'm saying. If it isn't gonna bother you, then um, your heels were more comfy than your tennis shoes. Oh, come on, Fran, come on. I don't, I don't know if I think that's right. I just, mm, what kind of heels were those? I don't remember heels with a whole lot of affection, I'm just saying. 
stopped wearing them after I broke my leg. I said, you know, that's just not worth it. Mm -mm. <laughs> when I was at, when I was still working in Huntsville, I went and I bought a pair of uh, these slides. They were slides by like Easy Comfort somebody. They were, I mean, they were high dollar shoes, supposed to be really, really comfortable. And they had a heel on them about like that. Oh my Lord. I wore them once to work because they were so slippery and I even scuffed them in the parking lot and all of the, all those other things that I knew how to do. No, they were dangerous. Add a heel and the slippery sole and a, no backing, no back on it. Oh yeah, I was just destined to fall on my butt. Mary, yes, actually she wore a lot of sandals on the cruise. It was kind of good because that was really appropriate. All right, so now we have that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my little pocket and I'm gonna use some Stampin' Dimensionals, the minis, a few minis. You knew I'd get some in somewhere. And what I want you to do is I want you to put them on the corners like that. Don't put them on the top because you're trying to slide stuff in. And if you put it on the top, you won't like that. And I put one in the middle of the bottom because, you know, dimensionals, no such thing as too many. Yes, they were high-heeled sandals with sparkly. She really likes rhinestones, I found out. I did not know this. I learned a lot about Amy on the cruises. I'm just saying. I did. I learned quite a bit. Okay, so now I'm just going to eyeball that about the middle of my panel like so. And I'm trying to make it as centered as I can. We're gonna say this is a knockoff coach, so it may not be exactly correct. Okay. And then let's put a little button, a little gold button, all about the bling. Hi, Alicia. Glad you could join us today. All right. And then I'm just going to adhere that right there. Okay. Now remember I mentioned that I had a fussy cut DSP perfume bottle from this design and I picked this one. So it's already colored for me and everything. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue on the back and then I'm going to slide it in like so. Okay. And then I made a lipstick. Now let me just show you. The lipstick is unreasonably large. It really will slide out if you're not careful. So what I did is I just cut it off like that. I know, lipstick abuse. And then we're gonna do the same with it. And just give it a little slide in, like so. That is the world's biggest lipstick and the world's tiniest perfume bottle. Just saying. All right, now remember my sentiment. We're gonna adhere it with some liquid glue. As straight as my Mark I eyeball can make it, which is to say very possibly not straight at all. Okay, easy peasy. Thanks, Jennifer. It does come out pretty darn cute, doesn't it? Okay, now I made, of my bows, I made a larger one to decorate the front of my tote. And I'm gonna take one of my petal pink best dressed tassels and pick up a glue dot. And I'm just going to glue dot him right there like that and then do the same with my bow, my bow. All right. And then just stick him right in the center like that and poof him up a little bit. And then we'll give this a little do and a duh. And there we have our snort, no, tote, our purse, our nurse or terse. There we go. It's a terse. There. So you see? And it even has a pretty inside. Okay, so now let's make some cards, shall we? 
this is what we were starting with. These are my my uh, design. So I kind of want my other ones to be relatively the same. Okay. So let's go. I'm going to first show you how to make one. We're going to do this one right here, which is with a uh, three by six piece of Whisper White. Let's see. I've got a bunch of stamps on my blocks. Um, let's see. You know what? I think I can take the shoe off now. Let's put him somewhere over there. Okay. I have the splotch. This is the technical term. I have the large splotch and I'm going to ink it in petal pink and we're going to stamp it kind of in the middle of this a pert. Yes, it's a pert. Thank you, Kathy. And let's see. We'll just stamp it like that. And then let's see, I've got some flowers somewhere. Flowers! Oh, flowers! Where are you? Here you are. Okay. And I'm going to do tone on tone. So again, with the petal pink. And we're going to do a couple like that. And a couple like that. And then let's take our, what color is our sentiment? Lovely lipstick, each and every one. That is how we're keeping it all tied together. All high heels for Amy. All high heels for Amy. Where are you? Hello, fabulous. Oh, fabulous. Fabulous. You look fabulous. There we go. Okay. And we'll just put him right like that. Okay. And a couple of, hi Lynn, glad that you could join. We're gonna put some of these little dot doohickeys around. Oh dear God, I just got the shark, the baby shark thing in my head. Oh my Lord, who made that song that is the dumbest song ever? But it just is an earworm and kids apparently love it. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, I've got it in my head, oh dear. Okay, I'm going to try to get it gone. Somebody sing something that isn't that for just a second for me. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's not working. You need to sing louder. All right. Hi, Donna. Glad you could join us. Appreciate that. All right. So now I'm going to take that die cut and stamped. I'm making a terrible mess. All of my blocks are falling down everywhere. I'm going to take my stamped and cut perfume bottle and I'm going to use my light and dark petal pink blends to color it. I'm pretty sure perfume could be pink, couldn't it? I don't know. Seems like it could be. Seems like it could be. Mine is, that's for certain. And just very lightly, okay? Okay, I'll put this back on. Now, normally I would say pop this on with Stampin' Dimensionals, but I can tell you, hi Phyllis, let's see, only girly cowgirls in my family and one who wore painted tennis shoes for her wedding. There you go. That's the way to do it. All right, and what I was saying, uh, the little note cards are, or the envelopes are really sized to fit. So I wouldn't put extra stuff. Keep your cards as flat as you can, which is completely against my religion, but there you go. That's the way it works. We'll put that like that. It's killing me to not put a rhinestone on it, but I'm not going to do it. I'm just not going to do it. Okay, now this is a happy birthday card, so I am also using... The Celebration, one of my favorite Celebration stamp sets, The Sending You Thoughts, and I've used three of them. Happy Birthday, Congratulations, and Thanks, all from this set. All right, so let me find Happy Birthday. Oh, Happy Birthday, that's Congratulations. Okay, hang on just a second. It's here somewhere, I know it is, because if it's not, then where is it? I suppose it could be inside there, couldn't it? 
Nope. Okay, hang on a minute. It's here somewhere. There's a claim. Oh, here it is. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right, and then we'll get our Loverly lipstick. Perfume comes in all colors. Whew. That's good. That's good. Okay, and then we're just going to stamp happy birthday in the middle. Like so. And then come back with the splotch in petal pink. The splotch. That's what I'm calling it. The splotch. And a flower. Or maybe a flower. And it doesn't matter which flower. You can certainly do whichever one floats you. And I put some over here too on this. You all know why I did that. Yes, on my sample, I made a mistake. So I put some flowers down there. And then we'll get us some little dot, fully dot dots, some dotly dot dots. And I've lost them. You know, I've got too many uh, blocks. I've got all of my stuff out on blocks. And that is very efficient and yet not so much. And we'll just put some right there like that. And maybe right there like that. There. Okay. So there is set number two. And for its matching envelope, all I'm going to do is use a little bit of liquid glue and adhere a gold button to the flap and then you're going to want to use glue dots mm -hmm. she says there we go we're going to want to use a glue dot to adhere a tiny little bow okay tiny little bow to the glue dot to the button like so okay so there is set number one. Oops, we got to give that a minute to dry, impatient girl. All right, there's our first set. So we can set that aside. Where are all of my envelopes? They're everywhere, they're everywhere, they're gone. There we go, okay. So there we go, set number one. All right, the next set is my purple posy set. Now, here's a little thing that you may or may not know. We don't have Purple Posy ink anymore, remember? Right? We don't have Purple Posy ink. But I can tell you that if you use Highland Heather and stamp it off once, you're going to be pretty darn close. Okay? So you can see in here, that is Highland Heather stamped off once. And I actually think it's pretty close. Yeah, it's probably a little bluer, but unless you are, like you've got, an RGB sensor in your eyeball, I don't think you're really going to get it figured out. Okay, so let's go ahead and make that one. It's very, very simple, just like all of them. This is what is so fun about this set, is how simple everything is. Yes, uh, dots are wonderful, aren't they? Thank you, Tanya. That's very sweet. <laughs> yeah, this... Uh, uh, this probably wouldn't have been my choice of sweets, um, but I, I have to say the paper is fabulous. The paper is just fabulous it, without necessarily the perfume bottles because that's not really how I roll, but the, the, the paper is fa fabulous. Okay, so this is another Hello Fabulous, speaking of fabulous. And we're going to put some dotly dots, because I like the dots. I really like the dots. I don't know why I keep losing the dots. Why do I lose the dot? Okay, dots, now you're starting to annoy me. There they are. Okay. All right, so then we're just going to put some dots around. And then I've got those, uh, remember I did some coloring and some die cutting of some flowers. Tuxedo black to make the images. And then I used my um, combo petal pink 
my light old olive and my combo purple posy and I'm just going to kind of stack those up here with some liquid glue. Do I have to take the lid off? You know, Lenny, I, I'm going to tell you what. So this is just me. These are not mailing note cards. First of all, they're a bad size. The, the post office does not like square things. So if you were going to mail this, just to save yourself heartache and a whole lot of extra postage, you're going to want to put it in an A2 size envelope, number one. So you fix that problem. Second, to me, three by three cards are more like gift inserts or you've got them in your pocket and somebody does something really nice at the grocery store and you, you hand them a kindness is always in style thank you card. Um, they're really not to be mailed, I don't, I don't think, not for me at least. So, so that's my answer to that. Let's put that like so, and then we'll put the other one over the top. But that was a good question. No, you couldn't mail. If you were really going to try to mail these, you couldn't do it with those, the buttons and whatnot on the back. It just wouldn't work, which would be unfortunate because it's a nice little thing. Yes, Fran, you almost have to put them in another mail. That's right. They're, they're not legal to be mailed. Not legal to be mailed at all. So speaking of thanks, let's put some thanks on here. Oh no, this is not thanks, this is congratulations. Yeah, sorry, almost borked it. Guess where congratulations is? Right on the back of my, my dots that I'm gonna not remember where they are in about two seconds. All right, so here we go. Like so. Now, let me show you how I make Purple Posy. I'm gonna clean off my splotch. And I'm gonna ink it with my Highland Heather, which is right in front of me. And I'm gonna stamp it off once, and then I'm gonna stamp it over the top. And we're calling that Highland Heather. Now I'm gonna do the same exact thing with my um, flowers. Stamp them off once. Put them up, up there. Okay, and then of course, some baby shark do 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 do's on here. Baby shark, do 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 do. Baby shark, do 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 do. Oh my God, who did that song? Oh my gosh, who did that song? Okay, and there's our congratulations card done. We'll put our make our um, envelope. Yes, I'm making you watch all of these so that when I am done, I have a whole set. Yeah, so there. They are nice on the top. They would be very nice on the top of a gift or tucked into a gift as well. Be nice. Um, this would make some nice, mm, I don't know, wedding shower gifts, I would think would be good. Why am I doing it like that? Why am I saying what? Like that? I don't know. I really don't know. I have no idea. Mm -mm. No idea at all. And then another glue dot on the back of my little tiny bow. And there he goes. Okay, so Purple Posy set in the books. In the books. Boom chakalaka. Okay, one more. Stay with me, people. Stay with me. Oh, Lord. Amy, I saw that the other night. It was on a, um, you know, this is the things that happened in 2019 thing. And uh, <laughs> they showed they showed it, and the kids love it. They just think that's the best thing ever. And I'm like, what in the world were they thinking, whoever did this? Okay, before we get going, let's color our shoe. Our shoe. And we're going to use, again, the petal pink. Yes, petal pink light to start with. This is probably reminding you of dyeing your wedding shoes, isn't it? When my husband worked in the shoe shop, he got 
he regularly got people coming in wanting them to, him to dye the shoes. There were there was like this book with I'm going to say millions, which is probably a bit of an understatement, but billions of colors, potential colors for shoes. People were matching all sorts of different things. It was craziness. It was craziness, I tell you. All right, we're going to go ahead and use our um, our little doha there. By doha, of course, I do mean uh, that I put black ink all over that one. Yes, I did. See why I had more note cards than envelopes? Or less, you know, whatever. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and make this one with a white. So let me get my splotch. Oh, splotch. Yeah, the video was pretty horrific, you are correct. But they had this little kid and his dad, and the little kid and the dad are sitting on, the, on their sofa watching TV. And they show it, and the kid is having this completely adult conversation with his dad, and he's only, I don't know, two, le less than two years old, I think. And and then they came back to him when it was time for da dun da dun da dun and it was, um, this is Petal Pink, so let's not do that. I need to stop singing the shark song for just a second or I'm going to make a mistake. I'm going to make a mistake. So I'm going to put Petal Pink away and pull out Daffodil Delight, which is the one I want, of course. Let's try that at the end. Look, it's just like I never, I never stopped. It was just like I never screwed that up. All right, so we're going to put a splotch of a Daffodil Delight. And then we're going to put some Daffodil Delight flowers over the top. You know what, we could use that for that flower. Let's try that flower. Okay. And then we're gonna go with kindness. Where are you, kindness? Kindness is always in style. That's what I've been told. Okay. And we'll just go ahead and put him right there like that. Get those out the way and then we're going to put some dotly dot dots those two guys in the video are awesome so fun to watch right it was great now that is a dad that is a dad and there are a lot of men in this world who could take some pointers from that dude because he he was getting it right he was getting it right i'm just saying all right, put a couple of my shark doo-doo doo doots like that, and then we'll adhere our die cut shoe. This is not a shoe that an old woman and her children could live in. It's just not comfortable at all. There we go, like that, and then. Oh, <laughs> that's sweet. And then let's put our splotch again in Daffodil Delight on the inside. Okay. And then our thanks. We're going to do thanks here. And lovely lipstick. Isn't it lovely? And some flowers in Daffodil Delight. Mm -hmm. Like that. Okay. And then our do -do 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 doots. Our doodly doots. A couple of doodly doots. I think I'm going to want another flower. I think I need another flower. I should have another flower. I don't think there's too many flowers on the planet. That's just enough flowers. There we go. Okay. Now I'm going to close up my Inca pads. Dang grocery shopping. Darn it, Karen. Grocery shopping? What? You want food in your house? I don't understand. I am glad you made it, though. And I appreciate you coming. 
I do. And then we'll decorate this last Daffodil Delight um, envelope. And we will have made another little set. So we'll be ready to go. I think these would be darling if you were so inclined to make a bunch of them. Wouldn't they be fun at like a Mother's Day brunch? Or even just a, a little party for your mother or your grandmother or your aunt or whoever fits that bill that would need to have this. There we go. Put that like that. I got a little carried away with those tails. And we'll cut that like so. Boom. Okay. Now we have our yellow set all made. And there we have it. Six little note cards with envelopes all coordinating. Now I'd probably put them in the thing like this. That's how I would load them if I was loading this to give to somebody other than Amy. If I was doing it, I would do all the colors, all the note cards and all the envelopes together like a so. And then in they go to our little there. How sweet is that? I mean, really. So cute. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll get them in the mail really soon. Really soon, Amy. Really, really. Oh, I'm sorry. You know, Monday is a holiday, so it's going to be a little extra time. All right, you guys. I don't know if you saw, but I have got a flash ordering special going on. It only goes through Tuesday. Everything over $50 gets double peppermints. Everything over $126 before shipping and tax gets free shipping on top of those double peppermints. So please take advantage. Maybe you want to get this uh, Best Dress Sweet, Dress to Impress bundle. When you do, get the paper on top, get the ribbon, and you'll have enough to get the beautiful sending you thoughts, and you'll be ready to go and make yourself your very own set for Mother's Day. All right, you guys, I appreciate you very much. I hope you've had a good time. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, and we'll see you next weekend. Bye-bye.